hello and welcome to today's episode of the Daily Blend. I am your host, AC, and we are joined in studio today by our Columbia City Manager, DeCarlin Seawood, and our Engagement Coordinator, Shauna Johnson. How are you both? Doing great. Good morning. Good. Good. Thank you. I'm glad to have you here to talk about your new program, Coming Program, Community Connectors. So who wants to Mm -hmm. tell me about Community Connectors program? I can start. So one of the goals that we have as a city is to better engage our citizens. And what we know is there's citizens that we haven't been able to reach. You know, they don't feel connected. They don't feel part of the city. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do with the Connectors program is actually hire citizens to actually help us engage. And so it's neighbors going out helping us connect with our neighbors. Oh, wow. And so it's all about it's all about connection. It's all about creating that opportunity for so people can feel empowered and feel part of the government, part of our organization. So Mm -hmm. as we're trying to pass laws, look at ordinances, look at how we can help improve neighborhoods. We really need to hear from the residents who will be impacted by the things we do. And so this program is just that. It's helping us connect and hopefully we can better engage and actually hear from our residents on some of the things they would like to see us do. That is really smart. It's really smart. Was this your idea, Shauna? No, I I wish I could take credit for that. But no, they've been working on that uh, for a while before I ever join the city so yeah it's really mm-hmm. smart because you know you sometimes you feel like there's this gap absolutely you know between you know me as a citizen and then you you hear things come down and you say oh i would but maybe you don't understand how to engage or you don't know or you think nobody's <laughs> listening right so how smart yeah. to have you know these people that are kind of serving as these go-betweens mm-hmm. uh, i really i think that's a really fantastic program so what mm-hmm. What kind of pe- I mean, what kind of people are you looking for? Like, how, who are, mm-hmm. who should who should apply? Uh, well, before we get too far with that, I think we probably need to mention that it's a pilot program, okay. and we're only uh, we're starting with only three folks, okay. and we're going to build from there. Yeah. Uh, but we've actually made conditional offers to okay. three individuals. Okay. Um, and as long as all that process works out and they accept, we'll get them started early next month. That's so, wonderful. Yeah. That is wonderful. And so when you say it's a pilot program, it's a, so you're looking to see how this works, if it works, if it could be expanded in the future, mm-hmm. uh, or if there are things that maybe need to be re, reworked. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And, and like I said, it's the goal just to try to figure out how can we better engage. And so... Here's our mm-hmm. first kind of step into that process. Yeah, that's a really, I think that's really smart. Tell me what you hope, like what, what's the best case scenario for you guys? The, for me, the best case scenario is for those residents who have been marginalized, mm-hmm. who've been kind of set aside and they, they don't, they feel like the city doesn't care and the city's not listening. It's for them to feel like I have a voice. Mm-hmm. I'm able to say, here's the things that I want to see done and that we're actually able to do it. And it's you no, know, the opportunity for, uh, in some communities, where, what I've seen happen is with these programs is you'll have the city manager sitting in someone's living room, mm-hmm. just talking to them about the things that they want to see happening in their in their neighborhood. Yeah. And if we can do that, then that'll help improve. One, it'll help improve residents feeling like they're part of the community, but also help improve the neighborhoods. And so that's my goal. Yeah, because that that's the piece, right? It, mm-hmm. I always feel like it's about relationships. Absolutely. As much as it can be, you know. And I don't know how many people feel like. I have a relationship with my city government, right? Right. Or there's somebody in my city government who I know really is looking out for my best interest. And so having a program like this, I think can alleviate some of that feeling Mm -hmm. that you feel disconnected. Yes. Yes, yes, that is absolutely the goal that city government isn't like this ivory tower somewhere. It's actually made up of people, Mm -hmm. individuals that are working to serve our community. And so we really want to get to know that community mm-hmm. and what they what they need and for them to feel like we're listening. Yeah, yeah, this is I think this is a really good first step in that. I mean, I know that you guys have had efforts, you know, in the past. This is not the very first thing, but this just really feels like somebody said, OK, hold on. <laughs> what can we do to help bridge this gap? Um, and yeah. I really I truly hope to see this very successful and I hope we end up with, you know, people who are representing all different areas and demographics and segments of this community so that you guys can hear what people are saying. Because I'm telling you, there is nothing like sitting at home and hearing something on the news that's happening in your city. Right. And you're like, I, man, I wish mm-hmm. I could have talked to somebody about that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so let's engage our community even more. 
you know, if we could get people to do things like come out to city council meetings, you know, and maybe this program could help absolutely foster yeah. some of that. Because we know it's, it's intimidating to go to the it council is. meeting. And so having that place where it's off the, the council meeting where we can come to you. Yeah. And you know, so it's like, how yeah. can we go to neighborhoods and actually talk to residents as, as opposed to expect them to come to City Hall and talk to us? Uh, that's good. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so Shana, so, okay, so there's no website for this program yet, but right. you guys do have the Be Heard website. So tell us a little bit about what people can see when they go there. So Be Heard is an engagement platform mm -hmm. where we post all kinds of different projects where individuals can give feedback. Okay. So it might be something like a neighborhood project mm -hmm. where they're thinking about doing a traffic calming, or it might be something big, like right now we have the budget process underway. Okay. So people can go in and ask questions, they can leave comments, um, they can do surveys, all kinds of things that are happening at the city. So hopefully that's one of those barriers out of the way that they can engage in that way from anywhere on their phone at home. Yeah. 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 I've seen a few, um, like there's been some big things that yes. have gone through be hurt yeah. recently. And, uh, I've got actually gone in and done a few surveys and great. just kind of seen. so that's a really great platform too, mm -hmm. for people to utilize that maybe they aren't fully aware of. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's beheard.como.gov. Okay. So yeah, we encourage everyone to check that out and engage that okay. way. Okay. Okay. So we can expect then soon, um, as you guys get everything solidified with the connectors mm -hmm. program, that there will be three people to start with um, that can connect. And I'm sure you guys will publicize who those people are so yes. that us, so we as the community, we know, who's you know, who's exactly, yes, exactly, yes. exactly yeah. who's in my neighborhood and who I can maybe talk to. And I think what a wonderful, wonderful program for our city to help bridge that gap between our city government and our community. So yeah. we appreciate you guys. Thank, Thank you for you. everything you do. I know it's not easy jobs, but we really appreciate what you're doing to make this city and this community one that's for all of us. Thank you. Thank you.